if I'm fixing it, I'm filming it. Well, hello everyone. Well, today is Christmas Day. Presents are open, Santa's gone, and I've got nothing to do until the big feast. So a co-worker gave this to me, his snap-on trouble light, and he said he dropped it and nothing, no power. And he says he tried plugging it in and it doesn't take a charge anymore. I'm going to trust his word on it, that his charger was good. I'm not going to put it in my charger and blow it up accidentally. So why don't we take this apart? My lord, the snap-on way here. I count over 15 screws for this. Oh my lord. Okay, so um, I think I'll just pause it and I'll get back to you when I'm done with these screws. This should take about an hour. Good on you, snap-on. Okay, I got all 15 screws out. Let's see if I can separate this. Okay. okay, there's the on off switch, I don't see anything out of the ordinary yet, and let's split this front half, okay there you go, okay, so First things first, let's see what we can find out what the voltage is here. See if we can find anything that says voltage. I'm looking under my high powered microscope here. Well, this is that USB C. I'm pretty sure those are 5 volts, no more. No more than 5 volts. Okay, I don't see anything wrong yet. Let's, uh, two screws for the circuit board here. Well, those are shorter screws, so remember that. Okay. What does this tell me? Three point seven volts. Okay, so it's an output of three point seven volts. So that's what I'm going to throw power to this. USB-C is five volts. Okay, so again, I'm looking for any signs of anything burnt, pulled out, loose. He said he dropped it. Everything's connected here. Okay, let's get, uh, well, we can get four volts on here safely. I'll dial in four volts. Uh, looks like 4.4 amps. Well, that's a lot. I'm just going to give it one amp. There we go, one amp. Okay, so I'll turn this back off. I've got my power supply set. Okay, so what's white? Looks like that's the plus. And then this looks like the negative. There you go. So I'll turn this on. Okay, right away it shorts out. I can tell my uh, current light came on. That means it's drawing power just like that in here, okay? What I like to do now is isolate things. Let's get this out of the way. I like to isolate things. So for me to do that, not much of a circuit on here, but I can still unplug it. So that's unplugged. Will I get power now? No. Let's get this out of the way, the battery out of the way. Maybe the battery is pooched. Okay, let's plug this back in to where 
and we'll try it again without the battery. Okay, let's try my power supply back on. Ah, right away. There's a current draw, so that's not good. Should be no current draw unless I actually physically turn it on. Maybe it's already on, but yeah, nothing. Okay. So, let's isolate this. Now, which, what can we do here? Okay, let's, let's pull these wires off. I'm just going to write down the color here. Looks like this is uh, blue and brown. Well, B and B is no good. So, I'll just write on a board here. Blue and then brown and then red. Let's get this circuit board out of here. Yes, okay. Okay, let's take a very good look at this guy. I literally cannot see anything wrong with the, with the circuitry. Nothing is loose, nothing is burnt. So we're gonna start working back. So let's see if the LEDs work. Okay, so we have three wires here. Which one would you take? Okay, so I know there's a light here, and I know there's a light here. So we have two lights. So, for my conclusion, the brown wire goes to that light and that light. So that tells me that's the ground. And either the, the blue is this light, and then the red is that light. Because, like I said, both browns are going to both lights. That tells me that's the ground wire. So let's get that connected here. Brown, let's connect. So we'll put my DC power supply on. Hook that up. And uh, the front one is the blue one. Let's see if that lights up. Yes, that does. So we know that light works. Now what about the main light? We'll hook it up to the red. There we go. So we know that works. Okay. That's a good sign. So from here on, it works. Now, the circuit board. How are we going to test out the circuit board? Um, let's get these back hooked up again. You just do a little tug test. Yeah, it's not coming out. Let's get this red one back in. Okay. We have no power coming out of the battery. Well, let's, let's double check that. Okay, so let's get my multimeter here. Turn it to DC volts. And okay. So let's see if we have any voltage coming out of this battery. No volts coming out of that battery. That battery is dead. So this is where the battery plugs into. This is where this guy plugs into. Well, I don't want to cut this here. This is easy to unsolder. So how about I unsolder this and then I can put this on the battery side and see if I get lights that way. Because this is the last in the row. So let's do that. Let's get the soldering station going, and I'm going to unsolder that. Okay, so I got rid of this, this guy, and I'm going to plug it on the battery side, but we got to watch our polarity here. So the battery, this does plug in, but now the battery is okay. So I got to remember to switch this around. Okay, so let's put our positive to positive, and then negative to negative. Oh, I got a green light there. That was interesting. Oh, look at that. Works. It works. Okay, so the circuitry works, which means more than likely the battery works, or does it?
let's hook this up. Okay, so that's where the circuit board goes. Let's hook this battery in line with the battery. Okay, so nothing. Yeah, the battery's totally dead. Okay, let us put the voltage. Like if we were chart, if we had the USB C plugged in. Oh, I get a light. Well, isn't that something? Yeah, it works. Works. Wow, so something's wrong with this. You know, it, it does look funny in there. I wish I could show you, but yeah, it does look like it's shorted. Um, one way we could tell is let's let's do an ohm meter test. Okay, so basically an ohm meter testing the resistance. We should have lots of resistance between the plus and the minus. So no resistance, lots of resistance. So we should not have any sound when I go from the plus to the minus. We do. Yeah, this circuit board is shorted out somehow. So how will we make this work? I won't be able to get one of these. These are... Yeah, I, I won't unsolder that. Uh, yeah, you need a heat soldering gun. So, let me go through my little junk of stuff and see if I can find something. So what I propose to do is keep everything the way it is and just put in a new USB-C female connector. This will kind of hang out a little bit, but nothing we can do. So let's get this cut in half and uh, figure out the wiring on it. And let's get these soldered onto here. Um, so what I'm going to do is make sure I feed the wire and that through this little slot. I'm going to have to drill that out a little bit. This is pretty thick. Okay, let's get a little drill in there. Not much. That should be about the right thickness. Looks about right, a little bit smaller. So we'll try to drill the center. Battery. Boy, am I good. I think someone put some alcohol in my eggnog. prevent that from being yanked out. Okay, so I think we'll put a nice heavy duty tie strap on it. That way it cannot get yanked out. Oh, there you go. That's good and tight. There, that's not going to get yanked out. Nothing we can do about that. It's the only way we're going to get power into it. Okay, so let's get this trimmed off as close as possible. Now, let's get these two wires soldered together. Okay, soldering. Perfect when you get a little drop. Okay. We'll let that cool off. And let me tape all of that. I could have 
some, I could put some shrink tubing on it, but that's outside in the garage in minus 20 below weather. So I want to stay warm this Christmas day. Okay, so I'm just going to leave the tape on there. Now let's get this two positive wires soldered together. Maybe just get this down in there, fastened. Oh well, we'll have to find a way, find room for that. Those were two small screws, weren't they? Yes, I've got two small screws. The rest all the same. Okay, well theoretically this should work now. Yeah, see, I still have a little bit of a charge left from the battery. Oh, it's warning me. The battery is low. Yeah, it's warning me the battery is getting low. That's why it's doing that. So let's shut it off. And then let's plug in just uh, now a connector. Plug that into you as go. Where's my cord? Now we can simply plug it in here. Oh, see, that green light comes on. Tells you it's charging. And theoretically, yeah, there's that light. And then theoretically, it should not... Oh, yeah, it's brighter. So that's working. And it should not blink. Because it knows it's hooked up to external power. And there we go. So I'm just going to leave it plugged in. Uh, maybe I won't. I'm going to be... Okay, let's turn it off. Now let's see if we can get this thing covered in. Where am I going to feed all this weird looking wire stuff? Well, it looks like it'll fit if I give it a good squish. If you push hard enough it'll fit. Yeah, let's get a couple screws started on here. Well that's pretty handy of them having all these screws because I am holding this very tight. Okay, I'll get this button back up and I'll get back to you guys. Well, it's charging and it works now. So, uh, it's amazing how that piece, when it fell, it broke, but it did. But, there you go, one snap on light saved from the dump. Hope you learned a little something about electronics. Go to the basics, get rid of everything and start from the very end and work your way and that's how I found out that this was the problem. Good luck with your repair.